Hello everybody, Steve Bain here and welcome to the Daily Storm. For those of you joining us for the very first time, this is a video series where I go into Heroes of the Storm and play a daily quest. Today my quest is to play, well actually it's not even play, it's to win three games. I gotta win some games. Um, I've decided I'm gonna play Zagara partially because one of my favorite characters, but also because they recently patched the living crap out of Zagara's talents and abilities. <laughs> So I, I have been playing around with her a little bit, and I kind of want to run her through a match and show off a little bit of what I've seen. Um, I'm still not entirely decided on how effective she is or, or whether I like the change or not. So far, I'm not super disappointed or super thrilled. So let's shoot up a quick match and see where we're at. The swarm endures. All right, we're jumping into Black Hearts Bay. We're going to be Zagara, Karazim, Chen, Nazebo, and Chromie. Going up against Gul'dan, Brightwing, Tassadar, Diablo, and Abathur. <sighs> there is a lot of support on this map. <laughs> we got Karazim, they've got Brightwing, and Tassadar. Oh, man, there you're going to be... Let's see who we got. We've got we've got a lot of specialists with Abath with uh, Zagara and Zebo. They've got Abathur. Yeah, they've got assassin tank. We've got a tank. An assassin. Oh man, this is. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. This is kind of an all over the place game. It'll be interesting to see where we land. Uh, Goldan. Oh, Goldan and Brightwing are working together. This is. I didn't think I was going to be the only one to figure that out, honestly. This is a fantastic combination, the two of them working together. Because uh, she will keep him topped off, and he does a ton of damage. Ooh, that's going to be fun to deal with. Uh, on the upside, I'm playing Zagara, so I can sick things on Brightwing and try and make her run away. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Howdy, everybody! Get ready for battle, you land lover. Okay, so it looks like Nazebo wants to go bottom. I'll go mid. To bring balance to this realm. We will evolve and we will uh, conquer. Don't take it fast. No, because I am not going to be solo pushing here. If I if I thought I could stay in a lane and just stay there, I would do it. But I don't believe that's going to be the case. Uh, we are going to take Corpse Feeders, and uh, that is going to help my E, and I should explain my abilities so they make a little bit more sense. So my abilities are... Uh, so, alright, my E, as I was explaining, uh, just drops the little thing there. Full of bugs, they come out, they hurt people. They're mean, nasty, they don't like folks very much. My Q has previously fired four Zerglings, now only fires one. Um, there's been a lot of debate on whether or not that's been a good change. I don't know. And my W shoots off a Zergling. Hydralisk. Alright, uh, no reason for us to be pushing it. Oh, actually, we've got all ten coins, and their healer's dead. <laughs> I'm totally turning in. Whoever has three should also do that. Uh, Chen. Chen and I really need to do this before anybody comes to stop us. That was fantastic. Right, I am going to push through and swing top. So, um, a lot of Zagara's stuff is she is a lane pusher. Uh, 
they've changed a lot of stuff. Uh, creep. No longer gives me bonus healing. Uh, I'm going to take Medusa Blade. I mean, my basic attacks are now going to... So creep used to give me health regeneration, doesn't do that anymore. Sorry, Chromie. This is a really tough one. Gold, like I said, gold in and uh, Right wing together are a nasty combination, and the two of them are certainly taking advantage of that fact. Okay, take this. I'm gonna let him have it. It's two coins. Theoretically, we can kill him and take him later. Right now, I just want to push. Get this lane moving. The conquest begins. Our friends in peril. Fix them. Moving in the lane I like. We are going to take slow enemies on the off chance that I get to do that. <clears throat> And grab the healing fountain. That's what it's for. Okay, they've got ten coins. I need to get down there. The conquest begins. They ain't there. They're down here taking Chromie out. Killing, that's fantastic. I need to get out of this. I need healing. Currently, give me some healing. Thank you. <laughs> I will take anything and everything you got, son. Ooh, that's a healing code. Those are fun. I <laughs> heal. Thanks. The conquest begins. Alright, they've still got 10. I want that money, they are. Down here. They are not. But I am. Dude, the... kill it, get it, get it. He was coming down there. I thought he was helping me. Uh. I mean, yeah, he's got a lot of siege damage, but that that could have. Like when Tansadar was there, I get it, because that's you know you don't want to get in there with Tansadar running around. Actually, no, never mind. I'm gonna come in here and help out. Uh, 
I, I get, you know, kind of get what Nazebo is trying to do. He wants to push a lane. You want to do that? You want to get that in there. But he kind of needs to be looking for the rest of the team there, too. I mean, yeah. We are going to take the Valorant like Maw. So they got our chin, we got there. I will go help Karzi grab these giants. Let's capture this mercenary guy. Alright, we have got their peeps all pushed back. Super excited about that. That's good. Uh, our Chromie is trying to commit suicide by other team. I think that's going to be good here. Grab the giants. Hey. Yeah, I kind of get that. All right, I'll let. All right, if Nazebo's gonna get this one, I get the top. having a fight in bottom. Yes. I mean, they're doing okay, but... I'm actually kind of surprised what they're doing as well as they are. The conquest uh, begins. Let's do that one. 
So one of the things, like little changes to the the mutilant or the hydralisk, is you know, the, the level I just hit. All the challenges, are, all the talents are hydralisk related. That was not a thing. For me. Uh, the one I took this time will make the hydralisk do more damage to heroes. Team knows he's there. They ought to. Oh, lag. Lag sucks. Lag coming from. We've got two of them down. The rest of the team should be able to. Oh, three of them now. So the rest of the team should be pretty good to go there. I hate walls. Just on general principle, really. Why, they ain't gonna be back for a second. And there goes their key! Bail with the Fermi Bail. Oh, uh, why are you still there, Chromie? Don't still be there. Five coins we've got now, that's going to get us the bottom keep. The fittest shall survive. Huh? They're all up? Ah, who cares? Let's get to the fun part! <laughs> Our vengeance will be complete. This, uh... In fact, if, if he comes and helps, that actually. Uh -oh. Very cool. Fury of the Storm! Oh, looks like we've got this right here. Nice! I, I like Zagar. I think some of the changes they made are a little interesting. Um, she plays pretty much the same. There's a lot of people who have been complaining she doesn't play the same. Let me rephrase that statement. She plays the same for me. But I never used what was considered the standard optimized build for Zagara, honestly. Um, I found the standard optimized build less than useful. Now, having said that, 
I am not top across the board here. Uh, Once Upon a Time with Zagara, I would be lead in all three of these categories. Uh, Siege, Hero, and XP Contribution. As it is now, I am decent in Siege and Hero damage. And I'm okay in XP Contribution. It's something I need to work on with her. Uh, some of the, her new talents are interesting. and it's I think the late game talents are the ones where I need to really start trying to figure out how everything works. I also took protective coding just in case. Although honestly I think with the way we were playing I didn't really need it. Um, what I took here, and again this is this is still sort of an early build. Uh, f- fiddling around with the new talents and seeing what I can do. So I took Corpse Feeders at 1, reduces the cooldown of Infested Drop by 3 seconds, and Roachlings take 40% less damage from non-heroic sources, which is, you drop them in front of towers, they beat up the towers. Which is one thing, like, the, the Roachlings, the uh, Hydralisk, I don't get credit for those. I don't get credit for the damage they do. At least I don't think I do. Uh, there's been some debate as to whether or not you get credit for them. I'm not sure. Uh, the general consensus is that you do not. So, that being said, I may be doing better than I think I am. I just don't know. Uh, but I took them. I took uh, Medusa Blades. Basic attacks deal 33% da- percent damage to three nearby targets. Uh, Vicious Acid. Baneling slow enemies by 20% for 1.5 seconds. I took Devouring Maw. I think it's really useful. Um, Nidus Network is new, and I haven't played around with it a lot. They've They've done a lot of changes to it. Uh, it is something I'm going to have to work with just to see how it functions. Uh, I took protective coating while on creep. Zagara takes 20% less damage, which makes me more survivable, harder to kill. Um, corrosive saliva. When used against heroes, uh, Hunter Killer deals additional damage equal to 2% of the hero's maximum health, which is really great. It's Diablo, Bright Wangle, you know, it's just anybody really. But it is a nice addition. And then Fury of the Storm, every five, which is, as it always has been, every five seconds, your basic attack will chain the mercenary, enemy mercenaries and creep. Um, some other interesting talents at level one infest. Nearby ranged minions deal an additional 200% damage, plus an additional 1% per 1,000 siege damage Zagara has dealt. Um, this can get out of hand quickly, especially if you're on a map where you can be left alone for a while. Uh, I didn't anticipate it happening here. Uh, serrated Spines. Basic attacks against heroes increase... Uh, heroes increase damage. Each basic attack against the hero increases his attack damage by 0.3. Um, except that there's no upper limit to it, so that just keeps getting growing up. Your basic attacks will just become more and more di- vicious as you attack heroes. And in Venom Spines, you... Uh, it is an active power. Uh, Zagar's next basic attack applies 230 damage over five seconds. In Venom Spines used to put a, a constant debuff of da- or da- damage over time on the enemy. They changed that a lot. Again, not a talent I've used a lot. I've played with Musilus. I haven't played with Serrated Spines yet. I really should. Um, these are all kind of the same. Increases the number of Banelings. This actually used to be further down. Uh, Banelings, Slow Acid, Bile Drop, Infested Drop, Impact... Uh, increased damage, which is each hero hit by the impact damage of Infested Drop increases the bonus damage by 10%. Uh, You hit 15 heroes, it increases the damage by 150%, and the impact radius is increased by 20%. So that could be really pretty vicious pretty fast. Um, Nidus Network, now, now you can have 10 of them, but you can only drop it where you already have creep where previously you just had to see it, which made dropping it inside your enemy's keep and then going through it and trashing their, their, um, inside their, their perimeter and then going in and trashing their keeps before you got up to them, particularly useful. Spell Shield is pretty standard. Uh, I took Protective Coating. Hydralisk Transfusion, Hunter Killer Attacks Restore Health, making Zagara significantly more, it heals Zagara as it goes. Very nice talent. Again, a bunch of different ones there, a bunch of different... You know, it's all fairly standard things. Um, ex- okay, except this. Endless Creep. There is no upgrade to um, Nidus Network. Now instead you have Endless Creep. Increases Creep Tumor's cast range and duration. Cast range is increased 
by 2,000%, which means you can just drop it without being able to see anything, and now lasts for 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. Uh, and Zagara gets 20% movement speed on creep. So that's, again, that's another talent I might want to try and play with, uh, since it will allow me to start giving vision to, especially in smaller maps, I think on um, Spider Queen, this will be a really useless, uh, useful, not useless, useful ability. Uh, or that was a Freudian slip, and I really don't like this talent, and I just haven't realized it. <laughs> but there we go. I hope you guys had a good time. I would love to hear what you think of Zagara's changes down in the comments below. Uh, do you play the character? Do you not play the character? Do you have an opinion at all? Please let me know. If you enjoyed the video, I would also appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and share. Um, if you did not, I understand that too. If you want to leave some constructive criticism on how I can make my videos better, I'll take that as well. Other than that, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.